Hello, this is Jay Calavis, Chief Innovation Officer with Telium. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Telium data access. So first, um, to discuss some industry trends uh, that we've seen here at Telium. Um, we've, we've been part of the analytics and BI movement. Since the very beginning, um, as a core team, um, back in 1998, companies were using log files uh, in order to process uh, web and server-based data to create reports about what people were doing on websites. Um, that evolved into hosted web analytics and, of course, the evolution of the, uh, the JavaScript marketing tag, which there's been an explosion of. Um, and that was very, very successful for a long, long time. Uh, but eventually, uh, the market evolved into requiring enterprise data warehouses and, and BI visualization tools to be adopted by uh, companies of all size. We're also predicting um, that companies uh, will demand a single source of truth within a single space. We've seen very large companies attempt to, uh, to do this. We believe that there needs to be a new and more modern approach. Um, we believe that traditional analytics companies will fail on their promise to attempt to evolve into this type of platform. Um, and we think there's going to be an increased sense of data ownership and uh, increased security and governance required around the collection uh, and analysis of customer data. Uh, the, data, the number of data sources, we believe, will continue to increase exponentially. By data sources, we talk about websites, mobile apps, offline data sources, the Internet of Things, connected devices, CRM systems, kiosks. Customer engagement will continue to expand, and the ability to have an extensible footprint to collect and correlate that data will uh, continue to, uh, to make the industry more and more uh, complex. And ultimately, activation of that data will be the next big wave of complexity. Uh, it's, it's great to collect all that data on the back end and have it available for analysis, but we believe companies will demand uh, that that data be activated and available for marketing. And integrations from a platform perspective will be table stakes. Uh, we believe that uh, the interoperability of a tool that collects all of the data uh, with the ecosystem of marketing technologies uh, is essential for this space. The current state of the industry, what we're seeing, uh, the mandate is for every single company out there, uh, there needs to be a business intelligence or enterprise data warehouse platform that is collecting data. We believe all companies are tasked with warehousing all sources of customer data, uh, whether that be from web, mobile, offline, legacy loyalty systems. It all needs to be consolidated. Uh, and it needs to be correlated into a single source of truth. That, that single view of the consumer needs to be complete in all facets of, that, uh, of the data point. And if possible, made actionable for marketing purposes. So once you do your analysis, being able to bring that data from segment to action as quickly as possible. The problem with this mandate is that it takes time, money, and tremendous resources. Almost all companies are attempting to achieve this utopian view of the consumer, um, but it's hindered by the number of data sources, uh, the process of attempting to batch process data and create backward-looking views of that consumer, and trying to correlate and this down to a single ID so that you can have not only the single view of a consumer, but the ability to activate that data across all different marketing engines. The solution that's been created is Telium. Telium is the world's first real-time universal data hub created from the ground up to collect, correlate, enrich, and activate data. And we do that across all devices and data sets. The natural byproduct of that process is a clean, correlated data set that can be hosted or exported into any existing data warehouse infrastructure. So when you think about the hard work that Telium is doing at the front end of being at the point of data collection when the customer engages a brand, the ability to, at that point of collection and curation, to do the correlation, to do the enrichment, and to have that, that visitor profile kind of pre pre-segmented uh, and ready for action. Telium is the open data platform that makes that data available. The natural byproduct is a downstream real-time flow of a fully correlated view of that consumer. Additionally, because Telium sits as the hub, the data that's used for analysis is exactly the same that's used for action. So in this 
In this new real-time world where Telium sits at the point of data collection, curates and enriches the data, makes that data actionable, and at the same time sends that data downstream into a BI or EDW environment, you have a completely new revolutionary approach to analyzing and acting on data. So Telium as the universal uh, data hub has three offerings. Telium IQ is our foundational data and vendor management tool. Um, this tool is used to create what uh, we call the data layer, something that we pioneered back in 2008. Um, that allows to, us to create a single source of data collection across web, mobile, and the Internet of Things. Audience Stream is the platform that begins visitizing that data. So as the data is flowing in real time into the Universal Data Hub, Audience Stream is able to collect and correlate and turn that data into a completely real time view of that consumer. And, and we talk about enrichment as the real time evolution of the profile as rules are applied to that incoming data set. And then ultimately, data access is that downstream ability to have all of that clean, correlated data directly into a business intelligence or enterprise data warehouse environment. So the old way, uh, to kind of think about the way that companies have been doing it uh, up until now, is buying back data feeds from all the different data sources. This is a, a single view of what that looks like in the world of web. And keep in mind, there's also offline sources that come into this. But you have to get back those data sources from your analytics provider and your display uh, vendors and all these different tools to try and bring that back into that correlated mosaic of that consumer. And of course, then you're also correlating offline data. And if you're lucky, you can piece Humpty Dumpty back together again in days, if not weeks. And at that point, it's really ultimately too late. The new view of how this works is completely opposite. The collection and correlation of data happens before data becomes fragmented. So data flows into the system. Telium is in real time identifying that data, associating it with a visitor profile, whether that's coming from online or offline, and creating that single source of truth, that visitor profile that then can be used to trigger campaign-like activity across all different marketing engines. So now you've got a unified approach to, to, to your marketing. You've got a single source of truth fueling all of these different tools, and then that correlated view of that consumer is going back into your enterprise data warehouse. And ultimately, we want to create a completely agnostic visualization environment. And so when we think about the way in which people are using data access, whatever tools you already know and love for visualization can be applied to data access. So we're creating an agnostic data environment that allows you, the consumer, to leverage the tools you know best. And just some great examples of that, we've got some page load speed analysis happening in Power BI. We've got a cross-device journey happening uh, in our friends over at Domo. We've got some channel attribution analysis happening in Tableau. Uh, and then even Splunk is uh, in the joint of the party here with some web analytics data as applied. So the key benefits of Telium data access, um, the real-time data unification that happens at the point of data collection, as soon as the data hits the system, the data becomes correlated and actionable. It's flexible when it comes to visualization tools, so you can maximize the investment you've already made, not only in technology, but in human capital. You've got folks that already know how to use a certain visualization tool. That's just great. You can overlay that onto this data set and, and, and get started immediately. Having a correlated visitor view, so online, offline, multiple devices, data sets, understanding exactly who that consumer is. And then for us, complete data ownership. This is your data, not being fragmented off the vendors. You're not buying it back after the fact. You always have, have and own that single source of truth. We believe Telium is the right platform this, for this for a number of reasons, um, but one of the major ones is that Telium is built from the ground up to be built for data control and governance. First and foremost, from a collection perspective, we have the world's most extensible footprint when it comes to data collection. Whether that be client-side, meaning putting a JavaScript tag into a website, whether that's cloud-based, we have SDKs for native mobile environments, we have configurable SDKs for the, the connected devices and Internet of Things, such as set-top boxes and streaming Roku and kiosks, and you name it, if your consumer's engaging with your brand, we have an ability to collect that data and correlate it. And then, of course, complying with global privacy needs, opt-in, the ability to do not track global opt-out cap capabilities, 
load rules and data mappings to decide when and where you share data, having control over governance, and then auditing and verifying the data that's flowing into the system to make sure there's never a blip, you know exactly what's happening. Then there's the processing piece. So with such an extensible footprint, there's an awful lot of data that's coming into the system and being processed. So you need to have a global processing footprint and, of course, a geo-latent-based routing system. This data is flowing in fast and furious, and we need to be able to correlate it as quickly as possible. Having intrusion de detection to make sure that the system is secure and having security measures such as multi-factor authentication as a default gold standard in the way that we apply roles and permissions for users of the system. And then the storage of this data. It's regionalized data storage. So we make sure that we're complying with global standards for the storage of data, especially important in Asia and Europe. Uh, we make private clouds available. We even have a HIPAA-compliant version of our platform for the healthcare industry. And then the ability to purge data when and where our company, uh, data when our, when our customers want. So you don't have to keep that data all the time. You can decide when and where to use it. So data access comes in four different flavors. Um, we have the event level data, and then we have the visitized data via audience stream. So customers of Telium IQ, can get access to Event Store, which is a raw, semi-structured data set. Uh, comes in JSON, and it's perfect for companies who are building out a Hadoop cloud or cluster. And then we have Event DP, DB, which is a, um, a, a transformed data set. Goes through an ETL process before it hits uh, a server, and so it's structured into a SQL format that can then be imported into any and all environments that you want to, or hosted long-term by Telium. Alternatively, if you're using audience stream, you now have visitor level data. That visitized data, once again, can be provided to you via semi-structured JSON. So if you're building that Hadoop cluster, you can have that data. Or in structured, in SQL format. So once again, we can either export that data directly to, to you, or we can host it long term as your data warehouse partner. All four options currently GA and available to you. So just some questions that we hear uh, frequently. Uh, how long does Telium store the data? Uh, we can store the data as long as you want. So we can either be your data storage backend. Um, we, can, we can collect the data quickly for you, and you can export it and bring it into your own environment. It's completely up to you. You can decide to host it with us long term, and then one day host it yourselves. That's just fine with us as well. That, uh, that ultimate data ownership is key there. You decide the rules around how you want Telium to store your data. What if we want to host the data warehouse on our own? Can Telium temporarily house the data? Absolutely. We're happy to collect that data and either give it to you in semi-structured or structured format. You can simply import it into your own existing data warehouse. What are the benefits of having Telium host my data warehouse? And that's the event DB and audience DB offering. Well, for companies that don't want to go through the process of hiring uh, a DevOps team and an IT backend organization and managing the scalability of their data warehouse, you can outsource that directly to Telium. We've got a, a, an endlessly scalable uh, infrastructure, so you never have to worry about how you're scaling and how you're managing that data. We, of course, apply um, SLAs to that storage uh, capability as well. A few more here. Uh, what is semi-structured data? So semi-structured data uh, for Telium is JSON. Um, it is data that has not been correlated into tables, more or less. So um, think of it almost as uh, a Microsoft Word document versus a Microsoft Excel document. Semi-structured data is a Word document. Can I import my semi-structured data into my BI tool? You can, uh, depending on what your BI tool is, uh, and we can certainly help give guidance. Most folks who are purchasing data access know what kind of structure they need to their data, but we can certainly help you guys understand when and where each offering uh, will apply. And do I need to buy Event Store if I buy Event DB? Nope, the offerings are independent. If you want to have the semi-structured data or you want to have the structured data, you just tell us how you want the data, where you want the data, when you want the data, and we'll go ahead and get it to you your way. Do I need to buy Audience Store if I buy Audience DB? Same answer. It's completely up to you. I will give you a consultative approach to which product is going to meet your needs best. And then do I need to buy Audience Stream for Event Store or Event DB? No, you do not, because that's the event level data that's being collected by Telium IQ. But for Audience Store and Audience DB, you do need to have Audience Stream. So just something to think about if you want to have that visitor level data, 
into your data warehouse, you will need to invest in audience stream. That's it for us around data access. I thank you for your time, uh, for taking some time with us today to learn a little bit about data access. If you'd like to learn more, simply reach out to your account manager or your sales representative, or you can click on the link below. Thank you.